Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. I love discovering new vocalists on YouTube, and today's video is going to include a ton, because we have two lead singers and an entire choir. Plus, Patty Gertie doesn't just sing, she also plays the Hurdy Gertie, which is totally awesome, so let's get to it. <laughs> Ooh. I love the way that this starts off and it feels kind of just peaceful. I feel like it could be something from Lord of the Rings while they're traveling on a beautiful terrain, like not up the snowy mountain, of course, but the beautiful terrain part of Lord of the Rings. I also love Patty Gertie's little elf ear things. Those are so, so cool. And it's just really fun to hear the Hurdy Gurdy featured. Really, really fun. I want to go back to the beginning. I like all of the styles as well and how happy everyone looks. It's a great selection of instruments. <laughs> He's the happiest. <laughs> Predators roamed in the wild We were fragile like a child Before we tamed the land Whoa. Oh my gosh, I got shivers from that. Whoa. Um, I believe her name is Noah. And wow, she's able to conduct such quick, fine runs in addition to having lots of power in the voice, it's got so much agility. It's, I was just not expecting that whatsoever. I thought we'd have a much lighter sound perhaps. And, and the runs are very, very, very fast. I think she might, she might be using a really fast vibrato to help with that. I'm really, really curious. We're going to dig in pretty deep to that. But then in addition, the way that the music is adding to a story, essentially, I love the way we have these like little chamber orchestra interludes in there and some unusual harmonic structure underneath at times also provided by the hurdy gurdy. Go back some. Whew. It's a cool choker too. And this whole section is establishing just some fun play with the way we feel the meter in the song. We've got the same general pulse going underneath, but sometimes it gets divided into twos or threes, and it just kind of messes a little bit with our sense of what that time signature is. I love that pause and then re-entry. It's bluesy. Predators roamed in the wild. We were fragile like a child before we tamed the land. Mm, oh, oh, and that little, that sort of, it has a, this 
interlude from the chamber orchestra here just has some dissonance in it, but it still feels like it's going in a direction that is going to resolve. It's very, very interesting. But um, back to her voice, there are little um, ornamentations, essentially, when she's doing those super fast runs. And then she also has little bits of style that she's throwing in that are really peppered in very, very quickly. It reminds me a little bit of Serge's voice from System of a Down, to be honest, in the way he throws in those really fast ornamentations as well. Back one more time. This is a page in the diary of a world that was chaos and void before we came about. There's also a really present ring. She's got great focus on the sound. Again, a little bit of uh, some elements from Serge's voice. I, I wonder if they have similar influences in their childhood. I, I believe that Scardust is mostly based in Israel, but we've got, you know, obviously some uh, collaborations happening here in different areas where the band is is hanging out. So I'm not sure where all of these people currently are, but I bet that there's got to be some similarity in her influences musically and surges because that ornamentation is super quick and the focus on the resonance is a very 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 similar placement oh, that was chaos. this is a page in the diary of a world that was chaos and void a little break in there it's awesome predators roamed in the wild we were fragile like a child before we tamed the land oh. that's so cool i love that Oh, interesting. Their voices have a lot in common, but you can still tell that they have a different background. <laughs> it's so interesting. Like when Patty's little runs happen, they don't feel as much like ornamentations to me. They feel more like runs, if that makes sense. Um, like one feels like a jiggle that includes a bunch of notes and the other one feels like I'm getting all of the notes um, more planned through all of them rather than a jiggle where they just happen. I know that sounds a little crazy. They're extremely, extremely similar. I love, again, the the focus on both voices, though it's so interesting to hear a little more air sometimes come into Patty's, just a little bit. And they both have a rather full-throated sound, but Patty's sounds just a teensy bit higher in the placement. I'm loving the backing choir. It's like the equivalent of a gospel choir, but for metal. It's so, so, so cool. I think it's Hell's Choir, I believe, is the backing choir, which uh, thank you, Andy. I know you've been wanting them here so many times. And shout out to all of our patrons for getting all of these people uh, on the channel. Your February vote was incredible and epic. Just wow. Wow. We're going to go back because I really loved the way they uh, dove into a harmony here together. But then it, like, it looks like they like launched a band member over to the other place. Is that what happened? Because that was cool. I feel like we could just get like, it was like a beam me up Scotty kind of moment, but just to another place on earth. Oh. I love that line. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's such a good idea for a music video. I'm gonna jump and land in another area. Oh, that's so cool. I love the effect on the video too when that happens. I also really love that these two ladies are essentially singing in a lower area, like the pitch is on the lower side, but they have so much presence in their sound and they're balancing each other out really, really well. They just, like, they both are channeling that energy in a brilliant and very colleague nice kind of way. <laughs> Back one more time. <laughs> cool harmony. Again, love the the way that they're complimenting each other throughout this course, and then the way that they both just toss off demise there. That was awesome. I'm listening to so many cool things happening in the background too. Instrumentalists are just going nuts, like tons of really cool runs. You know, it, it definitely has this element of classical to it, of, uh, of Beethoven to me. And then the choir is awesome also. They just look like they're having a blast. This would be a really fun choir to be a part of. Okay. Oh, that was that was such a cool transitional moment with the hurdy gurdy too. Oh, cool. Um, I dig the way that they let a ton of voices come in and bring. I guess it's the chorus at this point in concrete cages, uh, and then also you have Noah's voice that came in and, and just belted that out later. I'm looking forward to hearing a really long extended belted note in her voice. I was surprised when she went up higher like that, kept it so very gathered. I want to hear how long she can hold it out. <laughs> I like her voice. I think it's got a lot of impressive elements to it in the lower part. And as she started to go higher, I'm like, wait a second, what else can you do? Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. Let's go back one more time there. Yeah, that's gathered. Nice. <laughs> Pretty dirty. Wow, there's there's so many key changes in this. It's like little turns here and, and there and, and here and there. And then Again, tons of things running in the background. Shout out to everybody that's involved in this. There's so much complexity in this music, which is hugely impressive. Let's go back a little bit. Ha ha! It makes me want to headbang. Oh, that's such a cool looking video. Whoa. 
that's a cool looking guitar. Um, I, that caught me off guard. The way both ladies here flipped into their head voices, there was a certain softness that they both brought to it as well. Hearing Noah go up and up and up and then flip over and still have a ton of focus on the sound was really awesome. And then the way she lightened it up more as well. I'm gonna go back and talk about that as it goes. Still in a lower register here. Mm. Yeah, still low. Right there is where she flipped over, but still kept a lot of point in the sound. Uh, this helps us to go with her and say like, oh yeah, it's still, still same person here. And it's a lot of times when a voice changes register, it's a different muscle coordination that's happening in your, in your larynx. And that means that the timbre or the color of the tone can have a pretty drastic switch. Singers usually work to essentially disguise that to a degree. Um, not necessarily completely hide it. Like we can tell that there's a switch there that she went through, but just keep us with them. You don't want it to sound like it's two completely different voices. Uh, but it is interesting. In some contemporary music, people will actually lean into that switch in a way that they're trying to make the two different registers very, very different. That really hasn't been done before, FYI. Uh, in her case, she does this section right here that has a lot more focus and point on the sound. And then she even goes into a higher spot and sort of like gradually takes us along to a different color in the head voice, which is super cool. That's that full lower sound. There's your head voice with point. And then a much lighter head voice. And both of them come with that lighter head voice. Beautiful blend. Ah! Whoa, he's in another place too. Wait, when did that happen? Oh, that's what the, I got it, got it, got it, okay. Awesome! <laughs> Man, I love how melodic this guitar solo has been so far. Really, really cool. But then at the same time, this part that I just paused at a little bit before that, the running parts of all the other instruments is so, it's so cool to have something that is so complex, has so many gears turning underneath, yet have these wonderful melodic lines on top. Huh. Ah, that's so cool underneath. This is, I just really like the lyrics. <laughs> what a cool song to release in 2020. I believe this was released in 2020. I know that they had a lot of challenges regarding COVID and recording an album and this entire idea of being in a concrete cage, being isolated and still trying to collaborate to make music, to record music together is, it's very real. <laughs> It's amazing message that people will find a way to keep creating. You can't shove that spirit down. We will find a way to keep doing it no matter where you put us. And I love the idea that in a concrete cage, people are writing history, right? Time didn't stop because people are isolated. Time kept going. And there are so many incredible creative projects that came out of 2020 and 2021 and 
uh, 2022 as well. <laughs> so it's so cool to hear a celebration of humanity despite a really, really tough time. <laughs> I was gonna say, this, uh, the little, it's like a cape skirt, just a back skirt. I'm not sure what to call it, actually. It looks really fun. I think I, I want to try that style out sometime. Yeah, look at the way it moves. That's cool. Wow, that is like, it is such a gathered belt. Good on her for just bringing that technique together. I don't feel like her vocal folds are about to blow apart. It, it sounds super healthy, super supported, and super focused. Nice. Yeah. That's what I was wanting. <laughs> I'm so glad that she delivered that. I've this whole time I've been thinking, come on, give me a really long belt. It sounds like such a healthy sound. I want to hear that sound for longer. I want it, I want to hear that sound just milk the absolute exuberance of this song. And that's what she just did here. I love the way she even went higher, did some sliding in there. It was really cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's a really good line. <laughs> it's got such a folk element aspect to it, right? I think that's one of the things that Patty Gertie is particularly known for is essentially bringing in folk music, like a dark folk music. I love the way she's blending different styles and instruments together. Totally, totally dig this. And I'm so glad that there's this essential solo mixed in here. We must, we must highlight the hurdy-gurdy. Oh, oh, and we had our, we had our switch. There we go, wow, I love those switches. So awesome. Transporting. Oh, new transport. That, ah, that is just so cool. The way that they're blending together metal instruments in this chamber orchestra. I love it. I love the articulations of the string instruments in here. The way they bring more rhythmic energy to that section as well. Instead of just holding out one long one, right? The articulations in there uh, just make it even more exciting. Also, I'm totally persuaded that Patty Gertie is Melisandre from Game of Thrones. Look at the, the necklace is even similar. Ah, so cool. I, that's so cool. And the ship there. Yeah. <laughs> what? Their bass player makes faces that I think I've seen on my thumbnails before. <laughs> and 
It's really exciting. I love his enthusiasm. I hear your comments. I, I read them and I know that you guys say that about me sometimes and I feel that so much about him right now. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go back more. Look at how happy he is about this face. <laughs> So cool. Yeah! <laughs> nice ooze and ahs from the fire, too. Oh, I like the harmony here. Dude! Whoa. Wow, that hair color is incredible. Wow, wow, okay, sorry. I just had to have a moment where I oohed and odd over her hair color, that's beautiful. <sighs> okay, but that said, holy crap, this inner instrumental section, it's a little bit, like it's got some dream theater elements in it, but, ah, but it feels a little bit more contemporary. Oh, so cool. Those runs are great. Whoa! Okay, whoa! <sighs> this has been leveling up for sure, especially with Noah's voice. The way that she's planned this out, I think is really brilliant. Um, I love the transitions that happened here for both her and Patty. That was super, super cool. Shout out to Team for just making a really cool music video idea and the way that it's brought everyone together. <laughs> That's super, super awesome. But she, so Noah's voice has so many bluesy elements to it. And then this part right here, the way she started doing a little bit of scatting, I'm like, wait a second, is there a jazz background there too? Really cool. <sighs> Man. This is some nice vibrato and a little growl. Whoa, like, I, I feel like I know voices pretty well. Her first sound did not tell me that she could do this much. It was a great first sound, like, don't get me wrong, but I had no idea she would take it this far. That's a little mind blowing. I didn't suspect that there would be a total scat moment at the end of the song that, you know, I didn't, I guess from the other instruments, there was, there's a similar improvisatory element that it makes sense for a vocalist to go to, but a lot of vocalists don't. Like they let the instruments have tons of runs and they sing a really long melody on top and that's awesome. But this, for me, I think it's like, <laughs> that just took it to the next level. It's like super, super cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go back some. This is a, yeah, this is a good moment. Even a little, a little distortion on that sound. It sounds like area aquatic folds. I 
I mean, it's definitely got feelings of Ella Fitzgerald in there with that scat. But in addition, <laughs> there's just a different, it feels like there's much more ethnic inspiration in this set. It's not your typical jazz scatting. It's like she's combining a bunch of different things, which is super awesome. Also combining registers while she's going through it. That's really, really cool. Yet having this really clear sound, I think a similar placement as she's going through everything to again, help stitch everything together. Hello. <laughs> Such cool note choices. Man, I I think that would be really hard for another singer to learn. There's so many people, we do covers of other songs, right? But this kind of section to really get down all of those notes, you'd have to slow it down so much. You'd have to probably do some sort of like dictation, figure out what each and every one of those pitches are. Those are not easy easy to just replicate kind of pitches. This is a very, very complicated vocal section. Nice. Wow, wow. <laughs> and such a good belt. Wow. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Is this saying something about VR? I really like VR. I like AI. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh. Whoa. VR can bring us together. The trajectory of this song is incredibly planned. Plus, you have very adept musicians for executing that. I really dig the way we had so many things happening at the same time. This song could be analyzed over and over and over, and you would still find something new. But it was truly incredible for me to hear how Noah's voice took it to the next level in that last section. That was mind-blowing. Such a fun choice, patrons. Thank you so much. If you would like to see some of the amazing choices that our patrons have made, you can check out this playlist over here and may you fall more in love with music every day.